Let's get straight to it. Let's talk about the Philadelphia Phillies. I am so excited to announce on this channel that I will be covering the Philadelphia Phillies on this channel. You know, on this channel, I usually cover the Minnesota Vikings. I cover the Philadelphia 76ers. I am a hybrid sports fan from PA Philly, everything besides football. And I decided, like, what took me so long to cover the Phillies? I'm trying to get my love back for the game. I love, I, I like watching it. I understand the game. And when I used to watch it back then in 2006 and 2008, when they won the World Series with Ryan Howard, Shane Victorino, you know, the guys, man, Ruiz, Jason Wirth, Chase Otley, my favorite baseball player of all time. It's amazing how I got away from it. I don't know why. I don't know how. But I'm getting back to it, and I will be doing play-by-play -play for some of the games this season. Not all 162 games, but I will be doing some of the play-by-play. -play. And I just want to let y'all know that it's definitely going down. So make sure you hit that subscribe button and that like button if you haven't already, if you are a Philadelphia Phillies fan. And I did some research. I'm trying to get the, the know some of the players, the, the, the modern-day players that's playing right now on the team. And I want to say that Trey Turner definitely got that dog in him, shortstop. He got that bag, too, man. I said, gosh, these pl the old baseball players get paid the most, bro. Like, if you can get all the way up from double, it was a double A, triple A, and then get to the major league, bro, you're getting that paper. Not trying to count nobody's money, but my gosh. You know what I'm saying? But he did his thing last season, man. His uh, batting average was 266. He had 26 home runs with 76 RBIs. And I'm going to say this real quick, man. Bryce Harper, I'm not sure if he had a down year, right? But I'm surprised his numbers aren't a little bit better. I think he had, he got hurt. Y'all leave in the comments below and let me know. Did he get hurt last season because he only had 21 home runs and only 72 RBIs? I look at Bryce Harper is like 100 plus RBIs, like 110 at least in about at least 30 something home runs. At least, you know what I mean? His batting average was good. It was solid, 293. But I'm expecting a lot more from Bryce Harper. Y'all leave in the comments below and let me know what, what happened with him last season. I didn't get to watch, you know what I mean? But I will start watching. It is spring training right now. They tied with the Marlins, Miami Marlins, 3-3 today. The first game of the season is March 28th against the rival Braves. I can't wait. I can't wait. I can't stand the Braves. I never could and never will. It is what it is. We coming at the Braves. We coming at them all season long. Let's go Phillies. I got to get some Phillies um, wear. I got to get some Phillies decorations. I got to get something on the wall. Y'all know the vibes. Slowly but surely, I'm going to work, work Philly stuff in a lot more. But then third baseman, Alec Boom. Is it Alec Boom? Is that how you say his name? His batting average was 274, which is pretty good. 20 home runs, 97 RBI. I believe he's like more like the cleanup, I think. I, I, 97 RBI is pretty darn good. So he has to be the cleanup dude, man, when people's on the base. He's probably batting probably like fifth or sixth or something like that. But um, I, I like him, and he's, he's pretty young. But let me get to back what I was saying about back in the day when I was watching the Phillies, man. Like, Ryan Howard was a home run machine. And one of my favorite players on the team, he had a little bit of a strikeout issue. But for every three strikeouts, he would have two home runs. You know what I'm saying? Ryan Howard was that guy, man. I used to, I used to get mad at him. I'm like, yo, why he keeps striking out? But then he'll get that home run. It'll be a two-run home run or a three-run, uh, a grand slam. It, he was an amazing player. And he was, y'all probably don't even know this, right? He's the first, he's the, he got to 100 and 200 home runs faster than anybody in MLB history. You know how many greats that played baseball and Ryan Howard's number one when it comes to getting to that, those, those milestones, you know what I mean? That 100 and 200 home runs. That's pretty darn impressive. His batting average was 258. He had, and I'm going to tell you that for his career, I believe. He had 382 home runs in his career, 1,194 RBIs, I believe. I think, I, I think I'm accurate with that. Hopefully, I am accurate with that. But I remember in 2006, the man had 56 home runs, or was it 58? I believe it was 56 home runs. Simply amazing player. 
simply amazing. And I, 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 miss, the, I miss that feeling watching baseball every day. And I'm, I'm going to bring it right back. I got to. I got to. One of my favorite sports. Chase Sutley, man. Wow. Wow. The best second baseman for me that I ever watched. And it was just his heart. It was, it was just his desire. It was just Chase Utley was that guy, man. I really love Chase Utley as a player, man. His batting average for his career was 275. He had 259 home runs, and he had 1,025 RBIs for his career. What a amazing player Chase Utley was. Like, let me give a big cheers for him. And a big cheers for Ryan Howard if I didn't already. You know, J. Rowe, I can't leave him out. I forgot what year he won MVP. He had like 30 home runs the year he won MVP. I'm just thinking off the top of my head. I can't, I'm not even looking at the stats on my, my computer. But J. Rowe was a special player as well, man. I remember the one time the Philly fans got on him because he wasn't running hard to the first base. And then <laughs> there was this big thing about it. And then he got it together. And then he, we got on him. That's what we ha that's what we supposed to do as Phillies fans. We're supposed to get on all their players. If they're not running hard to the first base or whatever base, you know what I mean? You gotta come, you gotta get at them, man. You gotta, you gotta stand on business as Philly fans and you gotta say what you gotta say and you gotta boom, do what you have to do to make them play harder because we know how great J, J Roll was and he did not put a lot of effort in that one particular game. You know what I mean? And we got on him about that. And I know he respected the fan base more and more because of that. And that's what made this team become champions, world champions, world series champions in 2008. Now, let me get to Cole Hamels and Brett Myers, man, and Jamie Moyer and Kyle Kendricks, man. Those are the pitchers that I grew up watching, man. And Cole Hamels for me, man, was a special player. He was the, I believe it was the MVP of the World Series. Just a great player, man. He only had the two pitches that I could think of, right? He had the fastball and the changeup. His changeup was nasty, 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 nasty. You know what I'm saying? Brett Myers, I just, it's just the heart and and just the desire to win when he's pitching. It's just, he just gets the job done. It might not look the smoothest, but some way, somehow, Brett Myers is going to get the job done. Now, Jamie Moyer, Jamie Moyer. Man, the memories I have of Jamie Moyer, man, like, whoo, man, I don't know how old he was, but I was cheering for him. I'm, I'm, Big on underdog stories, but it wasn't even like he wasn't a good pitcher. He was a little bit up there in age, but he knew how to play. It might not be the fastest fastball. It might not be the best curveball. It might not be the best changeup, but it was solid enough to get the job done. Shout out to Jamie Moyer, man. Like, yeah, sleep. Kyle Kendrick, he struggled, but he got the job done as well. So I'm not going to hate on him. I forgot what pitch did he... What did he throw? Was it like the sinker or what? What I don't even know. I don't. I can't think off the top of my head. You know what I mean? But man, just bringing back some of these memories, man, is just like, man, 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 man. And I'm all over the place, but let me get to the 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 pitchers that we have that's pitching right now. Aaron Nola, give a big shout out to you. I'm gonna definitely look out. I'm gonna definitely look out for him and see and hope the best that it, you know what I mean. He could resemble Cole Hamill so we can win a dang going World Series again. You know what I'm saying? Because I believe he's the ace of this squad. Then you got, um, what's it? Uh, is it Christopher Sanchez and Zach Wheeler? I'm going to do more research on those pitchers. But, you know, I'm excited to bring this content to y'all, man, because I, I do love baseball. And all I got to say is about dang time. Y'all leave in the comments below which players do I need to keep a lookout that's going to be playing for this team in 2024 that I need to really be like, yo, that dude right there, he going to do his thing. A player that's struggling, that they're thinking about putting him back in triple A is Rojas. Rojas is struggling. I believe he's a center fielder, I believe. If I'm not mistaken, leave in the comments below. He's struggling at bat. He's not hitting the ball that well in spring training. So I hope he gets it together because I would love to see him play. And um, Yeah. But yep, that's all I got for y'all. Let's talk some Phillies. I'm very excited for this chapter in this on this YouTube channel. You know what I mean? I talk about football. I talk about basketball. 
Now I'm about to talk about baseball. There are three major sports in America. You know what I'm saying? So we're going we're gonna to rock out and let's have fun. I'm out. This is the end of the video. I truly appreciate you vibing with the bull. Make sure you hit that subscribe and like button. I'm out. My sports vibes, thank you for vibing with me. Yeah. My sports vibes, thank you for vibing with me. Uh -huh. I'ma talk that talk about the Sixers and the Vikings. I'ma talk that talk about the Sixers and the Vikings. Let's go. I really do this. I'm a hybrid fan. Uh -huh. I'm a stand up man. Yeah. They be hating on the squads, but, but they, they really, really a fan. I'ma talk that talk about the Sixers and the Vikings. I'ma talk that talk about the Sixers and the Vikings. Let's go.